Where is it? Doesn't exist, Dumbo. It's got to be a flat Earth. Can't not be a flat Earth. That's how it functions. It's not an assumption. It's a prerequisite. <laughs> to NASA Shell. NASA Shell, I'm going to ask you one question. Let's say I'm on a boat. We're both on a boat, and I want you to take an elevation angle with the sextant, and I throw a rubber ducky life preserver off of the boat into the water and throw you and the sextant in it, and you take a sextant elevation angle. My question is, do you now have to make a dip correction? So I'm in the water. I'm trying to yep. just take a, a reading. Yeah, that's yep. not gonna work technically. But <laughs> yes, it will. Why not? Why not? Yes, it Why will. Not? Telling me you can't use a sextant on a dinghy. Lying down on a dinghy, it won't work. Yeah, it will. Uh, excuse me. I have a reference from Celestial Navigation that says if you're in the life raft and it's very low to the water, you don't need to take dip correction. Uh, that one, answers your one question. Quick question if uh, stop, could. Adam. Yeah. Well done. QE's That's question still pretty stands. Accurate, yeah. ah, QE's question still stands. Go ahead, Roy. Um, okay, so yeah, let, I, I like the life raft scenario better. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> you're, you're you're very close to the the water surface. So if there is like if there is a dip, which we know there is, it's going to be very tiny. We can we can calculate that using you know the the dip formula. Um, that's going to be why he just said he just cited that you don't need a dip correction from a dinghy. Yeah, because it becomes irrelevant. Yeah, it becomes a rounding error at just, that height. Just yeah. So all it is is height of eye. That's all it is. It's not conjuring a non-visible fucking horizon that doesn't exist into manifestation. You clown. Do you hear, do you hear so Hoima, how he's What am I correcting from? QE, you're saying... That, you're saying that, that, was that was what I was going to tell you, Hoima. Hoima, that's what I was going to tell you. What you're correcting from was a non-visible horizon, the geometric horizon, the one you incorrectly identified, and I had to take 22 attempts in pointing out your error. I didn't because, say that. Because, no, no, no. And then you rumpus me that. like you rumpus me, me now when I explained it 22 times. No, you're just You're wrong. talking Sorry. straight through me, Hoima. Yeah, you are. I, I stayed me. mostly I'm silent. Gonna let you I've do remained again. mostly silent. Now you're rumpusing me. Yeah, I, I took 22 attempts. You asked, what are we correcting from? Didn't you, Hoimar? That's rhetorical. You did. Now I'm telling you, you dumb fuck. The geometric horizon, you dumb fuck. Not the refracted horizon, because you can't make angle corrections from a bent line. I took 22 attempts to explain that to you and then described you accurately as retarded, mentally held back for not understanding that bent lines, that would be a refracted horizon, won't give you an angle correction. That's two straight lines. So what are you correcting for? I'll answer you. You're correcting from a geometric horizon you cannot see. That's why QE just identified it correctly as a correction from a horizon you can't see. Do you understand now? It's the 23rd time. You didn't acknowledge it 22 times previously. Now I've explained it again with QE telling you that you're not going to correct from a horizon you can't see. That'd be the geometric one you incorrectly argued for when saying you could get straight line angle corrections from a bent line horizon. Do you understand now after 23 attempts, Hoimar? I doubt it. We'll all take that as a no, then. You don't understand. Just a quick question, if I could. Go ahead, Adam. Oh, um, if, we, if we take a bubble section or a mirror, which you seem familiar with, and we go up a mountain, and we take our angles there, and we have to imagine, don't we, that what the bubble is creating for us, and it's creating a lovely level flat surface um we don't have to adjust on our, our altitude there we've created a level surface what is that level surface parallel to that we're going to apply all our calculations to 
parallel with what he's asking you, who am I? You're asking why the the, the in, why the artificial in the horizon is yeah. parallel to, to what? Yes. Yeah. In the dip correction, we bring the eye down to the surface. But when we do it, when we create a flat surface up a mountain with a bubble sextant, what is the flat surface we're creating analogous to? Uh, analogous? Well, it's analogous to our true astronomical horizon. So no, perpendicular it's analogous to, to, to the our surface, surface, isn't it? That we're going to draw the triangles onto and plot and navigate on. Well, yeah. no, I'm not going to make assumptions but, about uh, the surface just because I, I've established a, no. an artificial horizon. So, so the right. height of but you are. You are. Bring, sorry, sorry, stop a second, I, Adam. He, sorry, Adam. His, his answer to you was, I'm not going to make assumptions. We covered this again in the 22 renditions, 23. Ahoy, ma. Yeah, you might not be, but you've described what it is. You've said you're establishing level with an artificial horizon that's a horizontal so it doesn't matter that this goes against your sphere belief when you've already defined what it is and what it's used for yeah do you understand that now it, it, no it doesn't make any assumptions about the surface i'm not sure where you're getting this from it, it's utilizing the flat surface and you're drawing a parallel line out to that flat surface that is what you are doing if you are performing this navigation function. That is what's done. It doesn't matter what you say doesn't matter or what you say it's not assuming when ipso facto it is functionally flat. That's what it is doing. Yeah, every plane you establish is going to be flat. That's a geometric fact. So when we establish a flat plane and navigate on it ipso facto we are just factually navigating on a plane then we're actually not navigating on a plane at all if so even though we've just established it measured it taken our measurements using it and from it you're saying it doesn't mean we're assuming it we've just measured it though haven't we can you give the nathan can you give a citation of a single manual celestial for celestial navigation Stating that we are navigating on a flat plane or assuming a flat plane for, for, for the manual. I can. I can do one step further. So what we are acquiring to do this is an elevation angle. That's the measurement. Quote, the elevation angle, open bracket, sometimes referred to as the, quote, solar elevation angle, end quote, close brackets, describes how the sun appears in the sky. The angle is measured between an imaginary line between the observer and the sun and the horizontal plane the observer is standing on full stop end quote sustainable by design altitude angle there's my citation that makes it absolutely explicitly clear because that's what you're doing as i just described and you just disagreed with me that you are functionally performing this on a flat plane that's what you are navigating if you are doing this and it starts by measuring elevation angles that are in reference to the flat plane the observer's standing on, end quote. Do you have a citation that says the ground can be bent? Do you need me to repeat my question? Do you have a citation that says you can acquire an elevation angle from a curved surface, Hoimar? I've got nine more that say the flat plane is required, Hoimar. Do you have one that says the ground can be curving, sphere-shaped, your ball belief? Do you have one, Hoimar? I'll take that as a no. So it's not that we have to make any assumptions. The function is flat. It's using the flat plane the observer's standing on, Hoimar. Not an assumption, just how it's functionally being performed. Do you want another citation? I've got loads. They all say Earth's flat. And this is done flat. They don't describe assumptions. They describe performing a functionality that requires it to be flat. Hoima. I've got loads more citations. Where's yours? Just silence so far. Dumbfounded silence about the flat Earth you're yeah, standing sorry. on. I'm just, yeah, I muted myself on accident, so...
do I have citations? Well, yeah, I have tons of manuals that are all using a globe, that they're using globe maths, they're using excellent, yeah. great excellent. let's have one. Excellent. And okay, and okay, stop. Let's Ukraine. have it. Okay, great. Let's have it with quotes around it. A citation, please. Go. Excellent. You've got loads that say it's a globe, that you can have a curved baseline for an elevation angle. My specific question. Let's have a citation, please, that says you can have a curved line for a baseline to get an elevation angle. Off you go. I said they assume a globe and... No, no, no. Don't elevation. tell me what they do. Sorry, do you not understand what a citation is, Waimar? Did, when I put quotes around the citation you asked for, it was very specifically a citation. I told you where the source I, was, I didn't, and I read I didn't, it out verbatim. No. I read it out verbatim. I never don't said tell, that. Don't I tell me. What, don't tell me. Specific it seems unreasonable. I'm going to start swearing at this cunt, because he's now just chanting through me telling him what unreasonable behaviour is when I've asked for a citation. I've, been, I've given you one. I put quotes around it. I told you where the source was. Now you're telling me what your citation thinks and feels. And implies, you haven't fucking read one, you dumb shit. Now go and fucking read one of the hundreds of citations that say you can get a elevation angle measurement from a curved baseline. Go on, let's see this citation that says it's got to be globe shaped to get an elevation angle. Let's hear it with quotes around it. Dumb fuck that doesn't These know what citation is and thinks I need to know what it thinks claims. and feels. Put quotes around it, go. Hello? You said you've got lots. Shouldn't be too difficult to rattle them off. I said I got lots of manuals that rely on, on a spherical Earth, yes. That's oh, sorry, that's not a citation. You asked me for a citation. I gave you one immediately. Quoted out of a particular source that was detailed also. Now you're telling me what your citations think and feel and mean without bloody reading one. Totally unreasonable. Yeah, I have those manuals too, Nathan. I'd like for him to read his and I'll read mine. Yeah, I want a citation like I gave you a minute ago. I said I've got many more. You haven't offered one yet, Hoimar, that proves that they've got to be globe-shaped like you infer when not citing a damn thing like I've just done that said it had to be a flat plane we're standing on. You want me to read mine again? Quote, and the horizontal plane the observer is standing on, end quote, sustainable by design when detailing an altitude angle. Now you get one from the hundreds of millions that say it's got to be globe-shaped, dick brain. Let's have yours. Where is it? Doesn't exist, Dumbo. It's got to be a flat Earth. Can't not be a flat Earth. That's how it functions. It's not an assumption. It's a prerequisite. <laughs>